Welcome back. This is an Alex homework video on interconverting compound SI units. So a compound unit is anything that has two or more units combined mathematically in it. The one that everyone would recognize would be miles per hour. Miles is a length, hour is a time, so in the metric system would be kilometers per hour or you could say centimeters per second or any kind of units divided by some kind of time. Per means divided by. So you've got some kind of a math problem using multiple uh, units. If you have compound units and you want to go from one to another, you do what we've previously done and that is go to a base unit and then go back to whatever the new unit is. But just realize you've got more than one unit to deal with. So you have to do one and then take care of the second one. And you can do them simply by adding, adding um, conversion factors. Remember the, the disguise ratio of a one, something divided by itself. So let's look at this for an example. I've got 4.5 times 10 to the 7, so I have some amount of moles over kilogram meter squared. Okay, so I've got a math problem here. I've got moles divided by kilograms, also divided by meters times meters. So I've got moles over kilograms times meters times meters. And I want to change it to moles over grams times centimeters times centimeters. Now moles are the same, so I don't have to I don't have to change the top one, but I do have to change kilograms to grams, and I have to change meters to centimeters twice because it's meters times meters going to centimeters times centimeters. So really you're just going to have whatever this number is, just keep it there, and then just keep adding multiples of one to where the units change. Okay, I'll give an example. This is going to be 4.5 times 10 to the 7. Now I'm going to write, first of all, what I'm starting with. Okay, I'm starting with that. Now, I don't know if you recognize meters times meters. I'm going to write it twice because I need to get rid of it twice. I need to do it twice. So I, I write it twice so I, I can cancel it twice. So let's do kilograms first. I've got it on the bottom. I want to get rid of it on the bottom, so I'm going to put it on the top. And I want to go to grams, so I'm going to put grams on the bottom. Now, kilograms is bigger than grams, so I'm going to put one kilogram equals a certain number of grams. Kilo remembers a thousand, right? So I can have, um, I'm just going to write a thousand, okay? A thousand grams in a kilogram. Now, kilograms have canceled. I have one on the bottom one on the top so I'm not done yet because my meters are still in the way so I'm going to get rid of meters but I have to do it twice so I'm going to get rid of this one it's on the bottom so I'm going to put one on the top in one meter how many centimeters because that's where I'm going I'm going to centimeters how many centimeters are there in a meter the meter is the bigger number so I'm going to write one meter equals centa is a hundred so there are a hundred centimeters in one meter. So one of these meters cancels. Okay, but I still have another one to get rid of. So I have to do this step twice. Once to get rid of the first meter and then again to get rid of the second. So I'm going to multiply it a second time. One meter equals a hundred centimeters and meter is going to cancel with meters. Okay, now let's check to see if we have everything we need. We have moles on top, which we want. We have grams on the bottom, which we want. We have centimeters times centimeters, which is centimeters squared on the bottom. So all of our, everything is ready. We just need to do the math. So I'm gonna have uh, 4.5 times 10 to the seven divided by a thousand equals divided by 100 equals and then divided by 100 again and I have 4.5 and then that's all I have as far as a number and then moles over grams centimeters squared and that's how you do this. This is hard. That takes a lot of practice, but I hope this helps.